Hi, welcome to Giant Tech 2023, the GSM Exchange Distribution Pavilion. Happy to see you here again. Please tell us a bit about yourself and your company. What do you do? What are your products? Which markets you operate? Which size is your company? My name is Robert Reyes. I'm the Director of Sales and my company is Manapov LLC. So we're based in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, we operate in the uh, used mobile devices. We do some new devices. Uh, we also do parts, LCDs, cameras, uh, styluses, things like that. And then we also do diagnostic software solutions. Let's talk about last year. What happened with your company? Did you grow and expand? How did you do that? Did, how did you stand out? What helped you do all that? Please share with us. The last year was uh, very interesting uh, because it was really the first year of uh, coming out of like that COVID depression where China was open again, everybody could travel freely, really impacted the market where uh, for the first time in a long time, prices just kept going up, up, up. And it did create some challenges in the purchasing side. Definitely very interesting. If you had a lot of product, you could control the market. So for us, um, we are a bigger player in the industry. So we we're able to continue to uh, purchase and hold large, large inventory and then it was finding out those new ways of moving it separate from the ways we normally used to. Uh, in the past we've always been more of an auction house where we were moving like 90-95% through the auctions and now like a lot of the other companies we've diversified where we're doing uh, e-commerce, a lot of strategic partnerships, uh, focusing on other areas that we may have neglected because we've always had a robust you know, supply and a robust customer base. Uh, so. Yeah, definitely this last year has, has had its challenges, but we've had a lot of gains and it's forced us to expand in new directions. And how about next year? Do you have some planned activities? Something different you're going to introduce in your company? New services, new products? We're going to continue on the path that we've started this year, which is expanding our footprint in places like Dubai, uh, Latin America, Eastern Europe, where we have a pretty strong presence in Europe itself. Uh, but Eastern Europe is a little bit neglected and partially because we just don't have strong contacts out there. Uh, but that's something that we've, we've kind of been building that up and so that's a key focus for us. Uh, another focus is also um, penetrating D2C as well and B2C, doing online, uh, online sales of that as well. What do you think makes the prices fluctuate? And actually how do you protect yourself from it? How do you deal with it on a daily basis? That was a big one for us this year because uh, I'm sure like most other people in the industry, it caught us off guard. Where in years past, the prices fluctuate, but it's always been predictable. Like whenever the new Apple release comes out, right before the, mo the market shuts down, and then you know, about a month later it picks up and it goes strong till Christmas, and then it shuts down, it starts to decrease until after Chinese New Year, and then it picks up. And this year, it just it was there was no predictable scheme there's no way to understand it. You just had to keep, uh, instead of using historical uh, information, it was more of like on the spot, okay. Matapov is different from a lot of the other companies that are just buying and selling phones. We are more of a tech company who is really good at selling phones. And so the backbone behind us is we have a huge uh, data team, an analyst team, that they're constantly viewing the markets like minute by minute, second by second, to see micro changes. And that allows us to start preparing to make adjustments on the fly. What do you do in order to increase your margins? Can you share that with us? I won't share all of the secret sauce, but it's not a secret because I'm sure uh, the one thing that I've noticed in our industry is that most of the companies that traditionally were just buying and selling, doing auctions or direct sales, almost all of them have ventured into the e-commerce world. And so that's a very big part of, of how we protect ourselves. In the beginning, when we got into e-commerce a few years back, it was more to insulate ourselves against bad purchases. Like when we purchase something too high and the market changed, we're like, okay, just put it online and we'll get it there, it's just gonna go slow. And then now the shift has been uh, fine-tuning e-commerce to where we're buying and selling specifically for e-commerce and then buying and selling for the wholesale markets. And then buying and selling like we do buying and selling for each different market and that's one of the things that we've changed to protect ourselves on the margin side and to increase margins. And then of course, following GSM Exchange around the world <laughs> because you guys always bring us customers. <laughs>
You have been a premium member of GSM Exchange platform for a while now. Can you tell us about please? How long have you been with the platform and how did it benefit your business? We've been friends with all of the guys in GSM Exchange forever. But as far as uh, being active in the platform, probably the last couple years, um, we've exhibited with you guys in the past as well. We use it for uh, to move some product and then also uh, a lot of referrals. So we get a lot of referrals through some customers that are on there or through the GSM Exchange, you know, core leadership guys. You guys are always sending me leads. So it's, yeah, we love it. We love you guys. We have a very nice booth this year at GSM Exchange Switch Pavilion. Can you please tell us how the show has been for you so far? I've attended Jitex for nine years. I didn't attend it the first year after COVID. I didn't attend it because we were like, uh, let's see. And then so I came last year just by myself, just to kind of scout it out. And I brought three stacks of business cards. I ran out in one day. I went back to Manipov and I said, we're bringing like 12 people and we're going to exhibit <laughs> because that was out of control. And I kind of let everybody know, just be ready. You're just going to be talking for eight hours a day. And uh, yeah, it more than exceeded our expectations. We made our money back for exhibiting in three hours, you know, and everything since then is bonus. So it's been definitely an amazing experience. We plan to be back next year and every year after.